big night for the Hawks as Joe Johnson returns to the lineup. Atlanta visiting Detroit. Trade deadline less than a week away. A whole lot of rumors swirling around Josh Smith. Will he remain in Atlanta? We'll have to wait and find out. Here kicking it out for a deep three to Joe Johnson, who returns after a four-game absence with a knee injury. Atlanta started off on fire, hitting his first nine shots from the field. Josh Smith going in lefty style with the power dunk. Rodney Stuckey driving and getting rejected by Josh Smith. And that preserved a three-point advantage for the Hawks. On to the second quarter we go, where Stuckey said, you're not going to be able to block them all. Getting into the paint, drawing the contact, the hoop, and the foul. He would make the free throw and tie the game at 27-27. and 27. Kirk Heinrich looking to Josh Smith, and the short hook goes down. Smith with 13 first-half points. Jeff Teague over to Marvin Williams, 47-39 Atlanta. Marvin Williams, 3-for-3 three three in the first half. Atlanta led 50-41 to 41 at the break. On to the third quarter we go to Detroit. Jason Maxiel, known for his interior game, here hitting the jumper. Three-point deficit for Detroit. Atlanta needs a timeout. Now it's Jeff T. Driving, but rejected by Greg Monroe. Oh, what a big-time block by Monroe, getting all ball and sending it out. And then on the offensive end, Monroe into the paint. Nice move. He had 20 points. It was a 26-12 third quarter Detroit outscoring Atlanta. In the fourth quarter, Josh Smith in the post. Misses. And Smith, well, he's a bit frustrated. Part of 11 straight misses for the Hawks in the second half. Now it's Tayshawn Prince. He misses the jumper, but Jason Maxiel. Oh, that's a big-time putback by Maxiel, who had 19 points on 9 of 11 shooting. Check it out again. In the fourth quarter, Detroit was phenomenal until it was Atlanta time, overcoming a 12-point deficit. Joe Johnson, two of his 18. Then Jeff Teague, the steal. And Teague turns defense into offense. Atlanta up by one. But Detroit would have an answer. With under 30 seconds to go, Tayshawn Prince scoring two of his 17, 24.3. And it is a one-point advantage for the Pistons. Flashback to January 27th. Joe Johnson, big three, sends the game into overtime. And the Hawks would win it that night, 107 to 101. Could Joe Johnson do it again? Let's find out. Back outside the Teague, three on the clock, seconds to play, shot from the corner, off the iron. Josh Smith at the horn, but that's gonna be late. That's gonna be late. The Pistons win a thriller at the Palace. 86-85, big win for Detroit. 